Hi guys, this is Vidas and welcome to another training for today. I will uh, analyze the chords today in the hymn setting called Hifridol, uh, set to the words of Alleluia, sing to Jesus, the ascension hymn. Okay, I'm using uh, a sample set from Piotr Grabowski, Alessandria. Let's take a look at the registration. Maybe we need principles 8 and 4, 2, maybe Ripieno on the on the first manual on the organo grande, probably contrabasso, subasso, basso, flauto, corno, and uh, maybe something more contra bomb bombarda 16 with the with the pedal coupler in the bass as well yes like that all right so let me f now just uh, play the hymn tune one time one more time and then we'll come back and talk about each chord Okay, so that was the hymn tune. I will now show you the keyboards from the top. And uh, maybe I will choose a soft registration, let's say a principle, just principle 8, and reducing the bass to the contrabasso and basso, 16 and 8. And that would be uh, fine for my analysis. Okay. Let's talk about each chord. The key is obviously F major and it starts with the tonic chord. Okay, this is tonic. Dominant 6 chord, but without the C, without the, the root of the chord. Incomplete. Tonic, another tonic. Second scale degrees for two chord, dominant six five chord, tonic, dominant six scale degree chord, dominant tonic six chord, passing dominant four three chord, tonic. Tonic 6 chord, 2nd scale degree 6 chord, 6 scale degree chord, dominant and tonic. And this is by the way, uh, the cadence. This cadence is um, a compound cadence because it has both dominant and tonic and also subdominant uh, functions in, in itself. And it's a perfect cadence because tonic chord is on the strong beat, it's on the first scale degree and the last two chords are not inversions. Okay, going forward. Tonic. 
dominant 6 incomplete chord, tonic, tonic, second scale degree for 2 chord, dominant 6, 5, tonic, dominant, 6 scale degree chord, dominant, tonic 6 chord, dominant 4, 2, 6, 4, 3 chord, tonic, tonic 6 chord, second scale degree 6 chord, 6 scale degree chord, dominant, and tonic. Identical rep repetition of this, Addition, identical repeat, with the same uh, cadence as well. Third scale degree chord, okay, sixth scale degree, seventh chord, sixth scale degree root position chord, second scale degree, seventh chord, passing note, second scale degree chord, dominant seventh chord, sixth scale degree, seventh chord, Dominant 6-5 chord, tonic with two thirds, tonic for two chord passing in the bass, six scale degree chord. This is passing 6-4 uh, chord of the second scale degree chord. Domin Tonic uh, 6 chord, uh, now it's probably 2nd scale degree chord, but with accented suspension, suspension. subdominant 7th chord, dominant with suspension in the alto, 4-3, four, four, tonic 6 chord, Now 6 5 chord of the 6 scale degree. Now 2nd scale degree for 2 chord. Dominant 6 5 tonic chord. Tonic for 2 chord. Alright, now dominant. Maybe not dominant, but uh, seven scale degree six five chord of the dominant dominant six five dominant six subdominant six dom dominant six five tonic dominant or not dominant maybe seven scale degree root position chord of the subdominant subdominant tonic 6 chord subdominant cadential 6-4 four chord dominant 7th chord and tonic and of course the final cadence is a perfect compound cadence too excellent so it's fun it's fun to analyze those chords if you want to practice this pay attention to the meaning of each chord it's really fun to see the the not only the notes but also the intervals and how they are put together into one vertical chord and their function tonic dominant subdominant and their inversions and uh, maybe uh, chords of the second scale degree, third scale degree, uh, sixth scale degree, things like that, even seventh scale degree, and tonicizations, temporary tonicizations of the secondary keys, related keys. Okay, thank you guys. I hope this was useful to you. Please send us more questions. We'll love helping you grow. Okay, and remember when you practice miracles, happen. Bye for now.